and welcome to your gold market update charts of the day for today it's the 18th of october 2023 and mike smith senior analyst at gold markets to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the asian session which could be an interesting one going forward because we have got some key data due out of china however let's start with what happened last night it was a mixed session overnight the dow finished in positive territory the russell outperformed in excess of a percent to the upside but we did see some weakness in tech after nvidia were restricted in terms of their exports of semiconductors to china we saw bond yields rise after a strong retail sales report and that dampened market spirits a little bit but the bulls will point to the fact that there were still more advances than decliners uh, that's really quite important if we are to get a push up from here of course earnings are still going to be in focus we have some key numbers out tonight as well u.s futures are just below neutral in early asian trading asian markets are generally cautious following that mixed lead from wall street the asx is around neutral uh, the vix is choppy and the european futures also point to a cautious open the middle eastern conflict and the escalation in that is still on market minds as they assess the implications of that going forward and one of those may be the price of oil. We saw that move higher again to test short-term resistance. Elsewhere, the US dollar index looked choppy, a bit higher this morning. Gold managed to eke out small gains and copper did also, bouncing off support. Bitcoin had that big move previously, uh, but yesterday it was reasonably neutral. It's still trading around a key level at this stage. As I've already said, earnings will be in focus. Uh, we've got uh, Morgan Stanley, Procter & Gamble, Netflix and Tesla all reporting today, the latter two after the bell. On the data front, we've got key Chinese data due as we're recording this in the next hour with GDP, the headline act. We've also got industrial production and retail sales numbers. That is very important in terms of market sentiment. The narrative around about how China is softening has been constant for the last few months. So some good numbers needed to keep markets buoyant, one would suggest. We've also got inflation data out of the UK and the Eurozone later this afternoon. So no let off in terms of seriously important data today. Uh, but then when we get to the US tonight, we've got some housing data and probably the market movers will be the Fed members as they speak. I think there's three speaking at various points during the US session. A couple of charts at Core RI today. Gold stocks continue to outperform. We're looking at Northern Star Resources and you can see that move over the 200 ma in today's trading we've got a price level here of around about 11.83 that we're keeping an eye on if we breach that we could see it up as far as 13 and this is generally accepted as being fairly solid fundamentally so maybe one to watch on the fx front we're just keeping an eye on the gb pound australian dollar if we look at on this four hour chart it seems to have paused around this 191.30 level over the last 24 hours suggesting that it is not quite convinced of a move down however we are testing that today we're just going to put a line at 191.32 switch it to a 30 minute chart and you can see how much this has been battered against so if we do get a close through this there looks as though there's a reasonable chance of a 50 pip move downwards to test this s1 pivot at 190.75 that looks really worth keeping an eye on during the course of the next few hours but of course we have got that cpi data coming out of the uk later so any action would probably be best taken either before that as a really short term trade or waiting till that data is out trade safe and see you again soon bye bye for now